Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Super stoked to have you all watching these videos all the time so thank you very much and also thank you for those amazing comments that you leave under the videos as well. Now today's episode is going to be a little bit bigger. Before we get into what we what we are exactly going to do, I think we should start with our our usual naming ceremony. So let me just pause this real quick before it gets dark. And we have to announce the winner for episode, I think it was 17. Uh, let me grab a beaver. Now, there was another great suggestion that we should always pick the youngest beavers when we name them. Uh, because I think in a few, few times in, or in a few previous episodes, I might have accidentally picked beavers that were about to leave the colony. So, it, um, yeah, that was, that was sad. So, my apologies. Uh, I will try and remember to pick the, pick the newborns first. And with the uh, episode 17, the highest liked comment went to Cosmo. Congratulations, Cosmo, and welcome to the Colony Man. There's been just so many name requests that I'm I'm really sorry, everyone, but I just can't. Um, I would love to have everyone in this colony, but I just uh, I don't think I'm able to do this. So I'm I'm, I'm really sorry, but um, I think we will do more than one. Obviously, the winner of the uh, that gets the most likes will will definitely get a name. But every now and then, I'll do some some honorary mentions as well. So the next one over here is going to be Clyde Maverick. Here we go. Now it's written down. And I know you might be might be saying, wait, you already had Clyde in one of the previous episodes, but um, we did. We named Clyde. However, when I named someone else in in um, I think it was in episode 20 some very <laughs> uh, some of you noticed that I'd um, taken Clyde's name and wrote someone else's name on, on on it so I'm really sorry Clyde if you're watching this so we've uh, given you a new beaver you you're you're back in the colony now um yeah sorry again buddy um, okay next one let me just find the beaver real quick perfect so the next beaver that we are gonna name will go to Rachel. Rachel, this one's for you. You've always been so active on the on the on the videos, leaving lots of comments, and and it's it's great to see you see you there as well. So thank you very much, Rachel, and welcome to the colony. And the one after Rachel is actually a special request that um, Rachel put in. Uh, Rachel, this one's actually for your for your dad. So Mark, if you were watching this, welcome to the colony, buddy. Thanks very much for uh, for tuning in on a, on a few of those episodes, and uh, I hope you're having a great day, and uh, not just in real life, but also in our colony. So, welcome, Mark, to our our Beaver Beaver Town. And the last but not least will be Meme Lord. Now, with uh, you, buddy, thank you very much for leaving all those lovely comments on on so many of my Timberborn uh, series videos as well. And I, I know you've been uh, wanting to have a beaver in here for quite a while, so sorry it took so long. But I uh, do appreciate all the all the amazing comments you're leaving and 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 watching the videos as well. So this one's for you, Meme Lord, and welcome to the colony. All right, now with uh, everyone being named there is just one more naming uh to two and that's actually for the for the district we've been calling districts by their numbers for 20 episodes now and uh now that i finally had the the community posts we had a bit of a vote and the winner was hamsterdam let me just quickly write, write this down as well hamsterdam here we go so district three is going to be hamsterdam because i think there was about 60 percent of you out of a thousand votes at least finally we can refer to this uh, district here as the uh, as hamsterdam uh well i might be so used to calling it district three so my apologies if i if i do that again but i'll try and remember to call it hamsterdam okay enough uh enough of this moving on to our next stage uh it's night time already right okay in this episode going through a lot of your comments and and me really thinking through about our colonies progression as well there are some very very important changes we need to need to make here now one of them is our power situation so if i uh, move over somewhere here um power and production they're a bit of a two in one really they come they go in hand in hand and um I think our production in general is not the most advanced over here, although it's it's enough for what we need. However, when I check the when we check the uh, the power supply, it it's not doing as great, and that's partly because once we put this aqueduct in here, that blocked the flow of the water, 
which means those water wheels uh, stop producing us some power. And we, we, we do have to change this up. We, we're going to have to pro provide some additional power. And um, I've got some plans for that as well. We might change this district around a little bit. Not too drastically, but just uh, just a little bit to make sure we're always getting some some power here. Uh, so that's that's the uh, one of the bigger ones. The second big uh, massive uh, update that we need to do in in these colonies is is how we really work with food. Now the first, let me just find the beaver real quick. For some reason, I was always thinking that I need to check the benefits uh, if I go into their 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 well-being tab. However, this one when you highlight one of the let's say or two or one or nutrition one doesn't tell you what sort of benefits you're getting from that thankfully some very uh, smart commenters highlighted that no you have to click on the beaver and this is where uh, we should yeah there we go when you hover over let's say nutrition three it's going to tell you that well if you give your beavers bread then their carrying speed will be 20% better. So thank you very much for highlighting this. Um, I have been neglecting this because, well, purely because I thought it's in the uh, well-being tab. So that's good to know. Now, with those benefits, especially, uh, let's see, their strength, which means they can carry more things, carrying speed, uh, all these benefits over here and walking speed as well is, is very crucial when we're doing some of the bigger projects. And we need a better infrastructure in place to be able to provide a constant or a steady supply of um, of the said types of uh, food or or anything else so right now how it's uh, how we're working over here is we've got a mixture of different types of um, crops that we grow in and um, same in district two we're transporting some over and then we're just growing carrots over here and some potatoes as well but uh and same in here we've got a whole bunch of carrots bit of potatoes and we're importing food uh, bread from district one so that's that's not really how we want to do it oh one more thing that i forgot we've got a bit of a separation of production here as well uh, the plan was really to build a bigger area where we process uh, certain types of food in here however we still have some more crisp mills in here uh, some bakeries and and yeah that needs to change so my plan really is to move everything that's that's here the bakeries and the crisp middle back to where it's supposed to su su supposed to be then vast majority in district one will become wheat fields and we'll have some some carrots obviously growing in here as well because i think carrots will most likely to locally in in all of those districts then district two not decided yet but this um hamster tam almost did it uh, is going to be potatoes i want to turn all these this land over here into into potato fields so give me a second i'm just gonna put in a rough plan how we want to do this and then i will be back okay so isn't much to show right now but uh, but uh, this is this is what the plan is is going to be we're gonna have a few roads going through the farm area um i've queued up a couple more farms and farmhouses in this location with also some some beehives to speed up the um the growth of the of the crops that we're gonna have here uh, this farmhouse is gonna be relocated into this location because then they can still access all all this area uh, up next to the warehouse here as well now we are gonna need some uh, some water into into this little river system and to keep that water in here i'm gonna have to put in some levees but also some flat gates as well and then we need to continue our dynamite project here too so let me just up the priority so we could have all this done first and i think with the with the dam in here we're most likely i'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna move it over a little bit that might be too high no three is good and then i guess we'll do it like so yeah maybe we'll have to extend the road just a little bit as well so they can they can reach all all this over here all right let me just get rid of a couple of these levees here 
And the reason why I'm leaving a cap right now is in case someone wants to go through for whatever the reason and don't want to get anyone trapped again. Um, okay, so I'll let them build this here real quick. And um, you know what? Whilst they're doing all this in here, how about we go over to District 2. It seems the food situation is, is fairly okay. Yep, that looks looks all right. Now we will start changing up. I think all all this here really. Yeah. So give me a second to once again have a look through how how we want to change this up, and then I'll be back very shortly. Now the dam is almost complete. We've got a um, few levees in place already, and then a couple of flat gates as well. I think we can. Yeah, it should be fine to put the final levees in place too. We do still have to block in this area. Now, I think the smartest way or the best way... Um, don't want to build into, into here. I just want to use the least amount of levees possible. But at the same time, I also don't, don't want to take any farmland away. I think we'll do something like, like that. Yeah, that should be all right. Although, never mind. I take back what I said before. We're going to build it this way instead. And uh, just a few final steps, really, to to get this in here. I think we're still going to have to put the walkway or a platform across like, like so. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll put, we'll put some roads up here. Now, the dynamites are all in place. I just don't want to use them until the beavers are done. So, for that, we're going to queue up a few more dynamites here. Maybe give them a high priority. So, it gets done a little bit quicker, hopefully. Now, final things. Yeah, we are going to have to put dynamites in here. So let me just remove a couple more roads, a few more dynamites. Okay, so that should be should be a good start. Now the beavers are a quick auto save. They are still quite busy building up this wall over here. The farm area is well, nothing's really happened happened here since um, the first step really is to get some water in here, finish this dam, and we've got a few more access. Uh, options for the beavers too. Let me just go over to our first district. Yeah, so we've uh, started taking out some of the potatoes. Well, we're not taking them out. What's, what's happening is once they harvest them, I've told them not to uh, replant the potatoes. We want to start planting wheat instead. So they've been pretty good with that. I just have to check in every now and just to ensure we're changing the, the crops over. Now, because our lumber situation is very... Well, we can't co really complain about it. It's doing pretty good. What I'm thinking is to convert most of uh, most of this area, I think, into, into lumber... Sorry, wheat as well. Uh, but this means we're going to have to take a few trees out. I'm thinking to move the road. Do we need it here? Yeah, let's have it here. We can connect through. I mean, some of those trees actually might be nice to keep, so we'll leave a few. Yeah, we'll take all of them out, and I'll just do the middle bit for the time being, and then we'll, we can decide later. Uh, Logpile, you can go. Okay, let's speed up the time one more t uh, once again. And um, that's that's what I'm going to be doing for, for a little bit. I'll jump, uh, I'll cut back in once we've got a bit more progression in this. It isn't really interesting to watch this part over here, so just give me a bit of time and uh, I'll be back once it's ready. The 
dam isn't quite ready yet, but we've got a few levels up and uh, I do want to continue uh, planting more potatoes. So what we'll do is we shall... Uh, is there not enough water here? Wait a second. Let's jump over... Yep, we'll close one of the plant gates. To put... Oh! No, 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 no. Let's, let's close this up. Okay, now we should start building up more water here. And, you know, for the time being, let's just put it on one. So we can start planting some more crops in here. Yeah, that that's looking a lot nicer. Alright, now we can put a few more potatoes down. And I think I'd like them to get two more of those farms done as well. Because this one's going to have to be relocated. Uh, relocated. So we can connect those roads up. And for now, let's raise it up to 1.5 again. Yep, that's looking good. Keeps the land nice and green around here. And allowing us to plant more potatoes. Um, we'll have a couple more. I think here, that should be good for starters. Okay, so this area is starting to come along quite nicely. Uh, let's just check out they're all harvesting. Okay, let's change one of you to planting instead. And you're on harvesting. Perfect. And quick look at uh, District 1. Yeah, we can put some more wheat fields down. Okay, that should be all of that. Well, a few more potatoes, but once it's done, it's good. It seems they've uh, taken out a lot, of, a lot of the trees. So now we can have more, more wheat fields. Fantastic. And we might even connect this road. Let's see. About here. They don't really need to go here. Yeah. Let's get rid of them trees. And we'll put even more wheat fields down, down here. Yeah, and we'll fill the rest as well. Okay. Cool. Now back to back to building for the beavers. And we're almost almost there. So here's the progress we've uh, we've got so far. We've got everything converted into wheat, pretty much. We've still got a few potatoes in here. Yeah, that's gonna go turn into wheat as well. Uh, I'll do those minor touch-ups later, but uh, but that should look pretty pretty good over here. Nice big uh, fields. The rest, the food situation, starting to get a little bit better. We'll bring back the UI in District Two. It's, it's fine. Nothing to complain about. And District 1. Potatoes. We're not producing them here anymore. We're going to be importing them from Amsterdam. However, carrots are okay. Bread should be going up soon, I believe. Let's see. We still have quite a bit of wheat here. Yeah, so this means we are going to unpause one of those crisp mills. Actually, two of them. Since um, we shall be getting more wheat soon. And now let's have a look at the progress in Amsterdam as well. The wall here... He's coming along very nicely. We've got the small dam in place as well, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a visual bug, but it doesn't look like it's holding up as much water as I thought it would. Or maybe I just haven't used them the dams for so long that I've forgotten what it's uh, supposed to look like. Um, yeah, those triple floodgates are in place, and we've got massive farms in here as well, so all those potatoes with about, what is it, uh, three farms currently operating, but we got uh, another two queued up. Uh, we got beehives pretty much everywhere, and a few decorations uh, in the, in in some, some of the most traveled spots as well. We are slowly building up a few small bridges over here. I thought that would make it uh, look even more, more beautiful if we have those tiny little bridges connecting uh, the farms onto the other side over here. Now I've got a few lumberjack, uh, lum lumberjack flags. Oh wow, in place because I do want to get rid of those those trees. Other than that, that's pretty much the progress we have uh, so far. And um, honestly, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy how this Am uh, Amsterdam is is coming together. Um, 
starting with the with the houses the warehouse over here to store all our food and and other resources and right in front of it i think there was some uh, one really nice comment that um, made me uh, think about being a beaver here as well chilling on the rooftop bar looking down over this uh uh, river that's that's com uh, going along the cliff but also uh, these beautiful farms that will be uh, well not will be they're already in place so it, it's coming along uh, or together very nicely indeed i think we're just gonna have a, a few more trees along the cliffs and maybe in the lowland areas as well i mean we do have some in place already but it's just gonna take a little bit of time for them to grow up as well so that should, yeah, that should summarize pretty much this episode, I believe. So yeah, I think we're going to end this over here. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you for all those lovely comments, the views. Welcome to the new subscribers. And uh, I hope you all have a, have a lovely morning, day or afternoon. And see you in the next episode.